Hey guys, welcome back. It's time to look back. We're going to look back on the eBay authenticity guarantee. We've talked about this a couple times. I think it's a bad idea. I think it's them just trying to make some more money and not necessarily them trying to make sure things are authentic. Um, there's, we're going to make a whole bunch of suggestions at the end of this video. I did a quick gander through eBay with some quick searches that you think maybe they could have an employee or two uh, that do the same thing, that go through and, and see obvious fake items, obvious counterfeit items, obvious razzle, mcdazzle, mcswazzles. You would think they would take all those down, but they don't. They don't really care uh, whether you get ripped off or not. Um, they're, they're just trying to make money off you not getting ripped off. But in the, uh, in the event that they create this program, we got, we got more complications. More than ever, uh, we've seen the issues with the title keywords, uh, some, uh, a little bit of uh, stuff messed up with that, uh, where you had base set was not qualifying for it because it had the word set in it. Uh, just stupid stuff like that that uh, I guess they decided to roll out and, and test with uh, people that were actually trying to purchase and sell things rather than testing it internally and thinking it through. You would think something like base set where Pokemon cards is one of the biggest reasons that they're doing this stuff, sports cards, etc., that they would uh, maybe come up with a better system, but they haven't. So now new problems are we have real cards being rejected by the authenticity guarantee. Are you surprised? I'm not really. It's what do we got? CGC's B team, PSA's B team, where they're authenticating things that are usually already authentic. And uh, <laughs> It gets hard. They, they mess up enough stuff in the actual grading process, let alone this weird eBay cash grab uh, that we have going on. Yes, there's probably some benefits. Some people will probably save some money at some point in time. But uh, at the same time, if this is eBay really trying to like save people money, to save them from being ripped off by someone on eBay, then they would go ahead and take maybe take it a little bit more serious when a bunch of people report a fake listing and it stays up. I don't know, like, I, can you not just go look at the reported listings and say, like, hey, yeah, this pretty much uh, is a, a workaround for listing something that's counterfeit. All right, into the into the messages here. We have, your listing was removed, counterfeit item policy. So uh, the user here had their listing removed. Um, they said, we had to remove your listing because it didn't follow our counterfeit item policy. We don't allow counterfeit items, replicas, or unauthorized copies. So this might be another keyword thing that they they messed up on. I don't I don't know. I don't, I seriously don't know. We're in the the world of bots, a really poorly programmed bot authentication listing nonsense that is go, it's going to it's maybe even worse than Instagram, uh, where there's no customer service anymore. We're just going to have auto keyword detection that's going to decide whether your item is authentic or not. What activity didn't follow the policy? We removed this item to protect you and your buyers because we believe it is likely to be counterfeit. Do you? To make this decision, we consider the details you provided about your item, reports we received from brands or members of the community. I highly doubt that. I've seen a lot of very counterfeit items, very fake items, trying to be passed as real items, altered items, etc. that have been reported in mass, and you did you do nothing. So it's probably just some keyword here that's uh, that's providing us with this uh, uh, pain in the ass on the platform. Buyer feedback and the reasons buyers return the item. Please do not release relist this item. What if the item's real? Why is there no option for that? Items removed for this policy cannot be relisted. Please ensure that your future listings for authentic items only. For these items, they should be described accurately and completely so buyers know that it is an authentic item. So, um... That's weird because, I, as we'll see in this video, we're going to pull up a lot of stuff that took me all of five minutes to find. You can find all sorts of fun, fake, counterfeit scammerinis on eBay. It's all there. It's all very there and you do nothing about it. So you're full of crap. What is the policy? Counterfeit products are illegal and not allowed on eBay. Examples include, <laughs> they're not allowed on eBay. All right, we'll see. Fakes copies of replicas of brand name items, for example, a shoe with a Nike name or logo that wasn't made by Nike, electronics or accessories that use or bear the brand name, logo, or trademark of a company that didn't manufacture the item, bootleg recordings from concerts or other live shows, unauthorized or pirated copies of movies, videos, or software, 
you <laughs> you wouldn't download a car. Listings with photos that hide or blur trademarks are not allowed. Well, there's some of those too. If you're not certain that your item is authentic or if an authenticator has been unable to confirm its authenticity, it may not be listed. We may remove listings if we receive buyer complaints that the item is not authentic. I don't think you do. I don't know if the, I think the reporting system is complete BS. I, I don't know exactly how many reports it would actually take, um, but too much. These items may not be relisted. How this affects your account because you may not have been aware of this policy. We're sending this. No, I, what about what about the fact that maybe your system is wrong? Sending this notice to educate you about it and ask you to follow this policy in the future. Listings that don't didn't follow this policy have been ended. We have credited any associated fees except for any final value fee for your listings. Listings that don't follow this policy in the future will be ended. Why we have this policy. So this is like absolute, I don't even know why they have this here. It's absolute BS. Why we have this policy. This policy prevents the sale of counterfeit items, which are illegal and could expose sellers to legal risk. Removing them protects sellers and buyers from buyer protection claims and financial loss. All right. Here's the, um, I guess, a list of items. Uh, this is definitely just copy paste automatic bot reporting. So here's the listing. It was a Pokemon a TCG Arizu. They put waifu in there. Maybe waifu is a uh, slang for counterfeit in uh, eBay's terms, I guess. Lost Origin 189 at a 196. Regular ultra rare NM full art. So I don't I don't get it. Um, I, it's, a, it's a real card. I don't know what what's going on here. There's lots of you can buy lots of you know, custom, custom Arizu, 69 and another Arizu, uh, in a time machine, going back in time and doing it in front of Mars. But those, those are on there. This one, for some reason, I don't know if it's one of the words within this here. I, I don't get it. I don't, I, unless I, the only thing I can see here is like waifu, but I don't know. I th I'm pretty sure I've seen waifu used in titles like this a few times. We appreciate your understanding. Thanks, eBay. Please don't reply to this message. We don't give a shit. Cool, because it doesn't make the money. All right, let's, uh, we got to zoom out for this one. So another problem we have. eBay, I hope you're taking notes. These are free notes. Um, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> we have your item is on the way to the authenticator. Last location, Santa Ana, California. So we got... Um, uh, shipped in transit to the authenticator which has no access to delivery location so you would think that it would be a 24 hour at least to be able to receive these items uh, because there's there's certainly a male risk of them being lost so when when the the company that is delivering them can't deliver them and has to deliver them deliver them at a different time you're adding additional trips that it's probably making um and yeah what just just have someone there and receiving all the time every day this is the, this is on a weekend at 1 30 p.m just have some people working on the weekend um some extra shifts there have them receive the items they don't have to necessarily take them out and authenticate them but you would think a, a large operation that's authenticating things would at least be there to receive the items so the post here says, can eBay authenticators at least have delivery access? LOL, I just want my card. So there's the uh, the extra time it takes. I guess they just don't want to receive things on the weekend. I totally get it if they don't want to be authenticating things on the weekend. It's weird that they're not. You would think that they would have shifts like any other facility that provides a service like this that isn't really accessible by the public. You would think that in order to get through all this stuff, they would they would have extra shifts, but apparently not. Hey, morning. The authenticators are a Monday to Friday operation, and I see this happen when a delivery is attempted on the weekend. That should get delivered today, and then the authentication process will get started. Thanks so much for your input. Signed, Carl. We would like to advise you that you are entering a third-party application. Therefore, we recommend you do not share any personal information, and then they want you to do a survey. So we're not open on the weekend, but here, do a survey and let us know what you think so we can not give a shit. All right, last but not least here. I thought this was kind of interesting. We have Pack Fresh Poppy. Poppy. Anyone know what to make of this eBay authentication result? The listing said SGC pre, but maybe they were checking for a slab. I'm okay with the pre grade. Just wanted to be sure it's authentic. I don't know what the, the price is on this. Derek Jeter autographed. 
signed card, so you would think that they would have authenticated it regardless of whether it was in uh, a pre-graded SGC thing. I don't know. They, they probably don't even know whether they should be authenticating this or not, but um, it, don't, it doesn't qualify. It doesn't qualify for the program, and they apologize for the inconvenience. So now your cards that don't necessarily need to be or don't end up being authenticated, I guess they don't, they don't authenticate signatures, right? Because it's CGC that does the non-graded or the, I don't know, pre-graded counts as non-graded. But um, but either way, this is uh, this is fun. This is fun for all. Fun for fun for the whole family. Send your cards off. They don't get to. Uh, they don't receive them on the weekend. They don't bother authenticating them. Sometimes things that are authentic don't get authenticated, and they get sent back. We've seen that. I've had somebody in the Discord reach out. Um, they sold someone a card, uh, and uh, and that card was directly from a pack, very real, and uh, it bounced it bounced straight back. So the person that they sold it to sold the the card on eBay. eBay tried to authenticate it, and it came back because they didn't think it was authentic. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm just waiting. If any of you guys have things that have been authenticated by this uh, this program that are not authentic, I'd love to see them. So send them my way. We'll continue to to look into this as the uh, the mess unfolds. We'll just call it that. So, all right, let's see how hard it is to find some counterfeit goods on eBay, especially these gold special special cards. These ones, um, sure, if somebody wants to have a gold Pokemon card and they want to buy it from Etsy or Alibaba or whatever, sure. Why is it being sold on here? You should have somebody that can easily identify that these are fake. Um, you either want to sell this stuff or you don't want to sell this stuff. Sure, they're I guess they're under the dollar value that it matters. But at the same time, when uh, I, I I get informed of kids uh, or people that are new to the hobby, um, typically the cards that they fall for that they end up trading real cards for are these gold cards. Uh, you get like the 650 billion of them for however much, and then they get traded around at school or whatever, and uh, and voila, oopsie doopsie. Little Timmy got ripped off. He traded his Moonbrion for a golden fake Charizard. Sweet. So then we have custom. We did a little search for custom Pokemon cards. So here's the Pokemon branded things that are not actually Pokemon. Um, so if that that seems to be the qualifier for their stuff that shouldn't be listed or shouldn't be allowed to be listed or shouldn't be allowed to be authenticated. Uh, but also we have all these like mystery bundle boxes. And it's weird because every single account that seems to be selling that stuff always has low feedback and is probably just going to rip you off. Pretty sweet. Um, these here. Uh, so we saw where you can't blur the trademark, uh, but here they're blurring, blurring the Pokemon off of the box. And it's also a bunch of new accounts. And you can see here we got the watermark from different accounts, different new accounts, probably all the same uh, people, person that is uh, creating them. Uh, they got the... The, the image with the blur, and then they just put the name of the eBay account on it. I don't know if that helps them, it prevents them from being reported or something. I don't know. $99 for what is probably going to show up as a fake Astral Radiance box. Sweet. Good job, eBay. That took me all of two seconds to find. Why are you not getting rid of that? What? You're, wait, you're protecting buyers and sellers. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sure. Sure. Sure, yeah. All right, now we got weird listings like this. I thought I'd throw this in because it was a little bit different. Heavy Pokemon XY Evolutions Booster Pack. Um, heavy doesn't necessarily matter, uh, and it's weird because they're selling they're selling all of the packs, but they're the heaviest ones. Whatever. Um, here we got repacks of all kinds. Sometimes they're a little bit more aggressive than this. Sometimes it's like empty wrappers and the box being sold. Um, I guess people probably resealing that kind of stuff would be buying those. This one, they just took all the hits out of it uh, and put suckier hits in it. And you can now buy it for $40. Should that be allowed? I mean, I guess it's still a kind of like a mystery, mystery thing. Nine feedback. And uh, we got a bunch of Pokemon product that they just purchased. They got an old binder or something here. Uh, they are going to build you a mystery pack. Why anyone would trust this? I don't know. Um, why it's even allowed to be on the platform that you can do a mystery, the same thing. You can you can search for like 
random and it'll be like, oh, you get a random Charizard. It can be any of these Charizards. It, it can be anything from a Pokemon Go Charizard to a first edition base Charizard and you'll get one of these Charizards. But they don't tell you any of the rates or anything like that. They add the illusion that you're gambling. You're probably just going to get whatever the cheapest thing is every time. It's, you know, like com computer parts and stuff like that sometimes too. Uh, Razzle McDazzles. A little bit of that going on on uh, Amazon and stuff like that as well. Um, just uh, the kind of stuff that should be easy enough for a platform uh, to get rid of. Here we got a 32 feedback, a mystery boxer. Why is this allowed? I thought you were protecting buyers and sellers. Uh, here I think you'd have to be more protecting the uh, the buyers on the, this mystery crap that's on there. You guys know that I don't like mystery crap and I especially don't like extra scammy mystery crap from somebody that has not built a reputation on the platform and that shouldn't be allowed to, to list it. In my opinion, one of the the most dangerous items. So, all right, so it's okay. None of this has been approved so far. We just gotta look at this evolutions box for $99. $99 for an evolutions box. I wonder if that's counterfeit. Also, sponsored item, cool. So even the sponsored items don't have to run through any sort of check. This is a digital check. You don't even have to send something in for them to check this to know that it's fake, but they don't because they don't actually care about protecting a buyer or a seller. They care about making money. And um, it, this is this would cost them a fraction of what it costs them to, to receive items and check them for authenticity, right? You would think that they do like a prim preliminary uh, check on this stuff. Well, no, they don't. They allow you to pay money to sponsor it. Uh, and then you, you see this first image here, looks pretty official. Um, but that, then you look at the actual product that's being held over like an outdoor potted plant garden. Um, mega fake, super mega fake. Why is this on there, eBay? Why didn't somebody check this? Like you can Google the image of an evolutions box and tell that this is fake. I guess if you don't look past the first picture, then you might not know that, you might not see that, but even then the price uh, should be a little bit alarming. Uh, and you would think that if you're going to have items that are sponsored, uh, that they would at least run them through a quick a quick check, right? No? 11 feedback, you can sponsor items and rip people off. Sweet doodle data. Let's go. What do we got now? We got a Darkness Ablaze booster box. So at first glance, you might say, hey, this booster box looks like it's pretty open, but it's also very fake. Sweet. How did you miss this one, eBay? I'm sure people have reported it. I can go ahead and report it myself and nothing's going to happen to it. So we got a fake booster box. Uh, again, if you're looking at booster boxes, if it's too cheap, if it looks too good to be true, I don't know what's going on here with the, the Pokeball. There's like a piece cut out of the middle or something. Piece cut out of the middle. It's all smashed up, uh, be, mostly because they they kind of come that way anyway. These are the, like the cheap China knockoffs. Um, and, uh, and yeah, very fake. Make sure if you're buying booster boxes, I mean, the first thing you got to do is make sure if it looks too cheap, you got to extra scrutinize it. But here you should know um, if you're in the market for something like this, that this is not the box design. Uh, the lines and crap on the bottom are similar to the fake Vivid Voltage that I opened on the channel. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, let's see what the description has to say. So some of these are pretty rich. Pokemon TCG, Sword and Shield, Darkness of Blaze booster box. Box has a little damage on one side. No, box is very damaged. The whole thing is very fake. Luckily, no one has bid on this yet. We'll go ahead and uh, and report that. We got someone with 341 feedback. Um, there's a pretty good chance that they uh, they know what they're doing, that they know that they're uh, ripping somebody off here. But I don't know. They're selling a lot of other crap. We got Prism and stuff like that. Maybe they don't know. I'm going to say that they probably know. But yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. I mean, I know I get it. There's there's goods, there's pros and cons, but I just think that it's it's you have to be pretty delusional to think that eBay is doing it for the best interest of the buyer. Um, they're doing it for themselves. They can make extra money on you having to send your cards in to be authenticated. The authentication companies have something to do now that we're not in the uh, the peak Kovi Wovi times. Uh, they get some money to be made there eBay has some money to be made. And uh, meanwhile, the uh, very inexpensive removing things that are obvious counterfeits, that doesn't happen because they don't care. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Join the Discord. 
Bye.